Well, good morning, Wednesday morning. Hey, we're in the middle of the week, right in the middle of the week. And I know the enemy uh, doesn't like you at all because you are, you know, you're giving attention to the word of God. You're living for the Lord. Well, keep your stand uh, because as long as you keep your stand in the Lord, uh, there isn't a whole lot the enemy can do without your permission. Okay, so keep your stand. Uh, I bless you for your time. Uh, for your energy coming into every morning like this, uh, just to hear the word of God and be encouraged. Uh, this morning, I'm going to use a uh, particular incident that happened with me when I was a kid. Uh, and so we're going to use, we're going to go to the book of Isaiah, chapter uh, chapter 30, chapter 33, okay? And I want you to look at these particular scriptures. It's just two scriptures, all right? Uh, the Lord is exalted. He dwelleth on high. But he had filled Zion with judgment and righteousness. Please underline that because it says that the Lord has filled Zion, which is prophetically for the church, with judgment and righteousness. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. So wisdom and knowledge is the stability of our times. Okay? Speaking prophetically of the church. Okay? So wisdom and stability. People that have wisdom and that have the ability to stand against trials, tribulations, challenges, and whatever. We have stability in us, okay? To be able to, uh, to override temptations and things that come into our life, okay? Now, I'm going somewhere with this because we're in the middle of the week. You know, I got two more days to speak to you about daily bread, to make you big and strong. So when you attend your church this week, you go in there like you're on fire, like lightning just threw you through the door, you know, and, and everybody go like, wow. And you burn and everybody watch you burn and sooner or later you'll catch everybody else on fire. All right. Now he says this, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. All right. So he's speaking some prophetically, dynamically unchanging things toward the church. The fear of the Lord. Okay, and being able to walk in wisdom and knowledge and understanding and have stability in us. When, when I was, uh, I first got involved in organized baseball. When I was a kid growing up, we loved baseball. We played baseball uh, behind my grandfather's house, behind his sister's house. You know, and he allowed us to have this field and we played baseball. And, and uh, I could hit balls. I could hit balls everywhere. I, we had did it so long since me and my brother coming up, growing up, we, we could hit balls everywhere, anytime we wanted to, whatever. We just, we just loved baseball. And my could run. We were fast. You know, uh, my brother was a little faster than I was, but we could run. You know, we, we did things. And so we, we were trained in baseball. And, and our, our great uncle, he would sit out there and watch us play. He would give us his bats and things. And he would watch us play, and he would tell us what we were doing wrong or whatever. So when I got into organized baseball, you know, they gave me a uniform. <laughs> I wasn't used to having a uniform on. They gave me a uniform on, you know, and uh, first, you know, first time at bat, I got up there and, uh, you know, and I, I do certain things, and I made the pitcher walk me, and then I said, now I'm going to steal second base, all right? And when the pitcher turned and threw the ball, I stole the second base. And when I stole the second base, the catcher tried to, you know, he tried to throw me out. But what I did was I ran out of the baseline to second base, okay? My what? My paradigm thinking was I'm on the field behind my grandfather's house, so we didn't have any particular rules. And so I ran out of line, okay, out of the baseline. And when I ran out of the baseline, I was at the base in plenty of time. But what, what happened? The umpire called me out. Because he knew the rules. See, I wasn't following the rules. He knew the rules. And because he knew the rules, you know, uh, he called me out. Okay? And, and calling me out, guess what? It was like, oh, what is going on here? <laughs> you know, I did everything I was supposed to do. You ever been like that? You did everything you're supposed to do? But you have to understand, did you follow God's line of communication and working? Did you stay in the baselines of God's word? See, I've seen people get out of the baseline and do things, and then they want God to bless them, all right? 
I've seen, I've seen people do, do that. Get out of the baseline. Now they do this or they underhand this or they do more, you know, and leaning toward well, how family likes certain things and then they try to override God's particular word with how family is. So I've seen them do things for friends or you know, for organizations or groups and whatever. You, you get out of the baseline of how God says that we ought to follow truth all the time because it was truth that brought us to God. And it is truth that will keep us with God. And you get out of the baseline, and then when, guess what? When things don't work and you're saying, Lord, why aren't you helping me? Or why aren't you blessing me? Well, it's because, guess what? You got called out, all right? That, 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 was, that was against God's rules of getting to that next place, of getting that thing done. That was against God's rules. And, and guess what? Because you, you stepped out of the baseline, okay, you were without God's help, okay? You were actually under now God's judgment. Okay, as it says here in Isaiah, you're actually under God's judgment. Okay, now you and I have to make sure that when we follow suit in doing certain things, that we always follow the word. This is why you always hear us always teach. What does the word say? And what is God saying to you? Because you follow the baselines and you'll get there safe. But if you do not, God will call you out. And I learned that lesson many, many years ago about following truth and getting, staying in the baseline. I was in a store, one of my favorite stores, and you guys have probably heard me say this one time, and I, and I bought some particular equipment that day down there, and the cashier forgot to, to uh, put in that uh, particular, my, you know, what he was charging me. Uh, it was a, an item that was like $1,000, and he didn't charge me for that item, and I went out and I got to the truck and I looked at it, and some people would have said, ha, 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 I'm going home. I got over on them today. I went back in the store, called the young man to himself, not with the whole group of people, called him to himself, and I showed him exactly what went on. He said, man, if that had come up, I could have lost my job. And I said, well, you won't lose your job today. Uh, I came back in the store to pay for it, you know? And so, you know, you have to follow the guidelines, the, you know, the baselines that are there that God have always put here from one place to the next place in our life. You have to stay in those baselines if you want to be safe and continue in, in the success of Almighty God. I just thought I'd bring that to you this morning uh, because, again, it was something that happened to me when I got in the, first got into organized baseball, Pee Wee League, you know, and uh, coming from playing in the country, you know, to now playing in the town, it was totally different. And, uh, but I remember that incident because I didn't stay in the baseline. I got out of the baseline and I was called out, even though I made it to the bag safe. But I got called out by the umpire because I went out of the baseline. So stay in the baseline of God's words. Stay prayed up. Stay worshiped up. Stay successfully in thanksgiving up. Stay all the time in the baselines. And you'll see yourself progressively going all the way around life with God. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you Thursday morning. We're almost there. And you know how it is at the end of the week, we get all excited, everything goes so boom, you know, and we go boom, and guess what? The Lord goes boom with us, and who knows what miracle will be in your house. Amen.